okay so the next topic is avl trees so in the first uh, videos we discussed in the, in the previous videos we discussed about uh, binary search trees so bst stand for binary search trees but when it comes to uh, avl there is no meaning like that avl means just they are the first letters of the indenters so anyway avl tree is one of the most important tree data structure that we encounter in computer science so it is uh, necessary to uh, have a clever understanding about this data structure so basically uh, avl is a self balancing tree data structure so we have seen that in binary search tree there is no self balancing so if you want to perform balancing we can use Mm, some global balancing procedures uh, such as bsw algorithms uh, but when it comes to avl trees it is not necessary to uh, use global tree balancing uh, it has self balancing so it is known as local tree balancing so when you are inserting a new node or when you are deleting a new node uh, avl tree get balance itself okay so anyway uh, Uh, this is the complexity that it takes for uh, searching in such a node edition which is quite efficient because it is in uh, linear time complexity logarithmic time complexity so it is very efficient okay so what is a, a avl tree balance factor so this this is the condition where we uh, sorry uh, this is the condition uh, where we see our avl tree is getting self balanced this is the condition that it must satisfy if we wanted to uh, create uh, a satisfactory avl tree okay so it is nothing hard it balance factor means just the height of the left sub tree and uh, the right of the the difference between left sub tree height and right sub tree height right so uh, suppose we wanted to find the balance factor of this 45 so b bh of 45 so what is the left height so 1 2 3 5 is 3 what is the right uh, right height 1 2 So BH 45 means basically 3 minus 2, which is 1. Right. Likewise, you can find out other uh, black black balance factors of other nodes as well. So it will give this corresponding value. It can be 1 or 0, maybe it can be minus 1. So that is the condition. So when you are finding the balance factor, it must be within the range of minus 1 and plus 1 so you can uh consider any node so this x mean any node and the balance factor of that uh, particular node must be either minus 1 or maybe it can be 0 or maybe it can be plus 1 you can have Uh, plus two, you can't have minus two. So those are illegal balance factors. We okay, only you can have these three balance factors uh, if you wanted to make a uh, uh, a correct AVL tree. Okay. okay. So as I said before, when you are inserting a new node, AVL tree get self balanced. So when you are inserting a new node uh, it can either inserting let's say it can either inserting to the left sub tree or maybe it can inserting to the right sub tree which makes the black the uh, balance factor of the particular node uh, is different okay? because when you are inserting a new node when <coughs> uh, uh, when you are inserting a new node the left sub tree or maybe right sub tree will have uh, additional height so it will affect to the balance factor okay 
so this is it and let's see how to deal with that so before uh, we move into the insertion inserting uh, for AVL trees of, of AVL trees uh, we must know about these rotations as well so this is exact same theories that we have learned in binary search trees so nothing new so I will just go quickly so left left rotation so what is the left left rotation so when you encounter some illegal balance factor like this so you need to balance that corresponding tree or oh, AVL tree gets self balanced okay self balanced this self balance happen if a corresponding node is not having this range of balance factor so it can be either having minus 2 maybe minus 3 something like that or maybe it can have a uh, plus 2 or plus 3 something like that normally it won't, it won't go plus 3 uh, or minus 3 it usually uh, having this minus 2 or plus 2 okay so if your binary if your AVL tree node having uh, this type of a uh, let's say this type of a uh, uh, balance factor which means uh, the AVL tree must get balanced because otherwise yeah, it violates the AVL tree properties so now we see uh, these two nodes are in left left manner so this is left left so it is left left case so when you are having left left case you must perform right rotation on this node 3 so it will make 3 go downside and 1 go upside and 2 will be a particular root node of that corresponding subtree so we need to uh, do a balance factor correction again so in here there is no subtrees which is balance factor is 0 likewise this is 0 this is 0 again so all these leaf nodes having a 0 balance factor it is a fact or you can uh, guess that as well because there is no left node or there is no right node there is no left subtree and there is no right subtree which makes the balance factor is 0 then again uh, there is the same height so uh, balance factor will be 0 then again there is same height so the balance factor will get 0 over here right is only there left is uh, just null so 0 minus 1 means it's getting minus 1 so that is the way how we uh, get the corresponding balance factors so this is just the general case it uh, shows that when you are inserting a new node for corresponding tree uh, some balance factor will get uh, invalid so you must perform right rotation if it is in left left manner so it will be like this it's just, a, it's just a general case so the second case is right right rotation so in this case over here we have an invalid balance factor so the node order is right right so if you encounter right right order you must perform left rotation <coughs> so it makes 5 to go downside 7 to go upside uh, 6 will be a, a corresponding root node of that particular subtree so you can guess the balance factors as well ok over here I have done some mistake it must be 1 because left subtree is only 1 and right subtree is 0 so it makes uh, the corresponding balance factor is 1 ok other nodes are correct so this is again the general case when you are inserting a new node for a right subtree it makes some particular node uh, created a uh, invalid balance factor so you must perform <coughs> right uh, left rotation if it is in right right order okay so second case is left right case so in this case uh, we got this intended value so left right this is the order so in this case you first must perform a left rotation on this particular node so it will make uh, this node rotated to this side and again you must perform a left rotation on uh, right rotation on this side it will make uh, this type of a tree so first you perform a left rotation on this on this node so 6 will go downside 7 will go upside so this is it then you perform a right rotation so 7 will go upside 
5 go down side and 6 will go to here which makes this type of a trick again it get balanced so this is the general case so again this is the invalid value so left right manner so first you perform a left rotation then you perform a right rotation it makes this type of a trick last case is right left case so this is the invalid value so this is right this is left so again the exact same thing first you perform a right rotation over here so it will make 8 to go this side and 7 to go this side something like that and you must perform left rotation uh, over here so it will make 7 to go down side uh, 5 to go down side 7 to go up side and 8 to, eight to go up side so it will get balanced again uh, and this is the general case so this is the invalid value so this is the right left order so first you perform a right rotation then you perform a left rotation it will make the tree like that okay so this is the uh, basic idea and the basic facts that you must know about ideal trees in the next video uh, we will see how to perform insertions to ideal trees